guys, Chris here, and you are watching Here We Are Running, and welcome to a very festive live stream we're doing today. It's another Zwift run, but it's a very special run. It's the largest ever run that has taken place on Zwift. So there were almost 1,800 runners signed up to do this run today when I last checked. Now, they probably won't all turn up, but it's still miles more people than has ever run on Zwift in a single group run before. And it's a special holiday run uh, organized by Eric Min, the, I think he's the CEO and co-founder of Zwift. And we've got Mo Farah, who is going to be leading us in this run today. Uh, you never know, we might spot Mo as we're running, uh, but with all those other runners, we might not. We'll see. Okay, so I can see we've got people joining already. That's fantastic. Uh, and uh, happy holiday season. Merry Christmas. Hope you're all doing as well as you can in the current conditions and are going to enjoy the days we've got coming up now as much as you can. So I can see we've got Kim, we've got Joe, we've got Ben. Hello to you all. Um, I'm just going to switch screens now over to Zwift. And you can already see large numbers of people already joined. Um, looks like we've got over 500 already joined with six minutes to go. Uh, so lots of people there already getting in there early. And then, uh, yeah, in just under or just over six minutes, we will be off. It's a 5K run today, guys. And I believe it's going to be treated by Mo Farah as a kind of progressive run. So, and it's probably quite a good idea as well if it is done like that, because it means that different people of different uh, abilities will be able to get a chance of running at the same sort of level as him. So um, I think he's going to start off slower and then start to speed up every kilometre. We'll, we'll see, or well, we might not, but we'll try and see. <laughs> yes, Joe, no COVID rules on Zwift. <laughs> you don't get to see this in real life. But it's the last time you saw this many people in a, in a race like this. This isn't a race really today. This is a, a, a group run. It's all a bit of fun, but something enjoyable to do on Christmas Eve. So how's everyone doing out there? Are you all ready for uh, Christmas? Got all the presents wrapped under the tree. <laughs> ben thinks I'll be in front of him. Well, I, I, if he's gonna do what I think he's gonna do, which is start slow, then yeah, I could. And I could have him overtaking me part way through. But, um, I'm going to try and run at similar speeds to what I think he's going to be running at. And then uh, we'll see. You never know, do you? You never know. He might go past us. He might, uh, we might not see him at all. All we can do is wait and find out. But you can see in the chat that's going up there, he is replying to people. People are putting in little messages. He is replying. He's obviously in his home on his treadmill, connected to Zwift like all of us are. Hi, Catherine. Are you doing this today, Catherine, as well? Or are you just uh, sitting back and watching the live stream? And guys, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the Christmassy music that I've got on here today. We're trying to get into the spirit of it all with the hat and the tinsel and the music. So Catherine's trying to join the uh, the run now. So Joe's wrapped up all the presents during my marathon. <laughs> you could have wrapped them up probably several times during that. So Catherine's on now, that's good. So Ben's uh, surfing between different streams by the sounds of it. Right 
let's start running slightly. So Joe, the run today is five kilometers. And as I say, I think it's gonna be a, a kind of progressive run for Mo. I think he's, he's starting slow and then getting faster every kilometer is what I've heard. So just under two minutes to go. Hi Tommy, thanks for joining. So we've got over a thousand runners now lined up. With uh, just a minute to go. Uh, Tommy, I'm just treating this as a bit of a fun run. Uh, I will try, if, if Mo's doing the kind of progressive thing and going at different paces for each kilometer. I'll see if I can kind of align to that, but uh, we, we'll find out. As I say, we may, we may see him during the run, we, we might not at all. There's so many people in this. Hi Neil, thanks for joining. Right, he's all ready. And we're off. Wow, that's incredible, the amount of people. Hi, Mark. No, I'll try not, get the try not to get the tinsel stuck to the microphone. <laughs> Right, oh, he was right behind me. Did you see that? I'm slowing down. He was there about a second ago, right behind me. Oh, there's loads of people there now in between. <laughs> I'll have to keep a very close eye here. I believe he's still behind me, but there's just a load of people between me and him. So. Hi, Benny. I'm not sure now because there's that yellow beacon right up ahead. So I'm not sure if that's him or not. <laughs> I 
got some camera angles on, so you, you may get to see him in this a bit more easily. Aerial shot. So guys, if you've got any uh, questions, if you've got any comments you want to put in the chat, I am looking at the chat, I can respond as we're running. To say we're, just, we're out there to enjoy this today. Uh, be part of this largest ever group run happening on Zwift. And this is more than double than the number of people that took place in the same run this time last year. So Neil's asking, have I recovered after the marathon? Yeah, this is the first run since I've done since the marathon on Saturday. And, uh, but my legs felt, as they always would, quite tired the following, or well, that night and the following day. Um, and as I always do, I got, I got quite kind of, I wouldn't say ill, but I got quite exhausted that night after the uh, marathon. And in fact, I didn't even eat that curry or have the wine. I was just feeling not, not myself at all. Um, just probably the shock of it all and finishing. Uh, so I went to bed, woke up the next day in much better shape. And the legs were, they weren't as bad as they normally would have been having run a marathon. Um, I wouldn't have wanted to go for a run that following day, but certainly two days after I probably could have. It's just been a busy week really, finishing off work, getting other things, other bits and pieces sorted. Um, so, yeah, I would say that uh, legs are doing pretty good, actually. I feel I can just sort of step back into running now. I've been given it, what's that, four day break. Whereas when I used to run marathons, the earlier marathons, I would, I'd, be, I'd give them at least a week off. But hence why we're not, you know, definitely not trying to run this fast or anything, because it's uh, just got to look after them legs having run a marathon on the weekend. That's an interesting view. <laughs>
So over 1150 runners taking part in the actual run. As I said, there were a lot more signed up, but obviously people that sign up, they don't all actually join. Right, we've done a kilometre. So my guess is we speed up a bit now. I can't run too quick today though, because I'm going to get over hot in this hat and tinsel, tinsel scarf. So uh, what's everyone's plans for the Christmas period? I did put a poll out to ask people that watch the channel, do you run more, less or about the same at Christmas or during the holiday period? And the majority of people said they run about the same. Uh, then we had a number of people, probably myself included, that run more during the holiday period. And then uh, the minority were saying they actually run less. So I thought that was quite interesting. But yeah, you guys watching, what are, you, what are your plans? How much running do you plan to be doing over the next week or so before uh, we get into January? So Ben's asking, um, have I caught Mo up yet? So I have no idea where he is. He appeared on my screen very, very briefly right at the start then. And then I thought I was ahead of him because I was watching for names going past. I didn't see his name go past, but there were just so many runners in that very early stage that you know when it refreshed, there could have been loads of people that had gone past that he never really appeared on the screen. So he could be ahead. He could be up behind. I really have no idea. <laughs> so uh, you think that Susie is behind somewhere, behind me, okay? So Benny's going out for 5K tomorrow. And yeah, last year it would have been a park run, not this year. Uh, and then a long run over the weekend, just up in the mileage before going back to work. That's good news. Oh, right. Ben said, has Mo caught up with me yet? <laughs> I think it's the same answer. I've no idea.
<laughs> yeah, Frederno, is that how you pronounce his name? He's he's running as a triathlete, I believe. He seems to be doing a bit of the messaging during this run. But I don't think we know whether they're up ahead or whether they're further back. So David is going to be running more over the holiday period, uh, taking advantage of, I presume, daytime running where you, you're going to get daylight as opposed to evenings or early mornings. Uh, at least here in the UK, we've gone past the longest day of the year. Longest day, shortest day of the year. So every day from now on. Until the summer, we'll be getting slightly more daylight. <laughs> Benny's saying slow-mo <laughs> is still behind he reckons. Okay, that's good to know. Right, so it looks like they're increasing the speed again because we've gone past 2k. I reckon they could be behind. So maybe I'll leave it a little bit before I increase my speed. There's a lot of people overtaking me now, I think. <laughs> ben saying, is this the new chaser race? <laughs> now that I've beaten that running guy, uh, moved on to Mo Farah. <laughs> You see, sometimes when you do that aerial view, you see a beacon, a yellow beacon that shines down on the run leaders. We're not seeing that today. Not on those shots of me, which means, does that mean they're not very close to me? I don't know. Right, I'm gonna speed up. They are ahead of me. There is absolutely no way I'm going to catch them now because we never really saw them go past. And they, uh, if they were going to run and increase the pace, starting at seven kilometers per minute, six kilometers per minute, and then this kilometer is five kilometers per minute, if they actually stuck to that, then they are going to be way ahead. Wow, look at that shot.
whilst we are running and whilst I am running at a pace I can still speak at, I just want to say massive thank you to everyone who watches the channel, particularly in this uh, support that you've given me during these live streams over the last couple of weeks, uh, particularly during the marathon. I would not have achieved a sub four marathon on a treadmill if it wasn't for everyone watching the stream, giving that encouragement. Uh, and for anyone that, that did watch it or didn't watch it, it I hadn't, didn't set out to do a sub four marathon, I just set out to do a, a treadmill marathon, my first one. Uh, but it was a massive negative split and quite enjoyable after <laughs> the day after knowing that I'd achieved that, but yeah, a massive negative split because we basically, with about 10k to go, um, people worked out what I would need to do to uh, achieve a sub four. They set the challenge and we ran the last 10k at uh, just under four minutes and 50 seconds per kilometer pace on average which at the end of a marathon is, uh, well, I was pretty amazed. So Joe is asking, have I tried running with the new run, running pace partners on Swift? Yeah, I gave it a go the other day actually. Um, I, I wouldn't say I was really running with them because as I say, this is the first run back from the marathon. I just uh, turned it on, turned Swift on and just tried out the functionality uh, briefly and then, uh, and then you know, didn't finish that run, deleted it afterwards. So, but yeah, it was interesting. Looks like a pretty good feature if you run at the pace that they run at. If you want to run at the pace that they run at, there's four of them. So you've got a choice of four different paces. Uh, if you want to run at a pace in between that, then there's no, there's no way around that at the moment. But there was, uh, when I tried it out, there was several people with that pace partner. At the time I did tried it. I so I think as it gets more popular, the groups of people will be larger. And that's all a nicer thing to do if you just want to do a, a Zwift run on your own, like not join a particular event, not do a workout, just go and do a run at constant pace, then joining up with one of the pace partners that just run. 24 by seven around a particular route at a particular pace, then you're likely to find other people doing the same. So feel like you're running in a group.
<laughs> so now I've increased the speed and I am noticing the tinsel effect around my neck. It is warming me up a little bit. The hat's not too bad and that is quite a thick hat actually, but you know, you, would, you know when you get a bit itchy from it? Yeah, I'm getting a bit like that at the moment. Right, so we've done 4K now. Final kilometers to go. You notice at the side there, we get people messaging like that at the moment. I'm not sure how they manage to do that so easily with their phones or their keyboards whilst they're actually running. So just to let everyone know, um, not planning any more Zwift runs over the Christmas period. Uh, although there is a race taking place at the end of the year. So on New Year's Eve. And I may take part in that. And if I do, I probably will stream it. Um, but I am planning various other videos. I've got some running gear to review and get those videos out. I've also got uh, some shoe, shoe reviews and I'll be doing my goals video, both my recapping the goals for 2020, which I'm looking forward to doing because there's some good news in that. And then I've got to set some goals for 21. And I haven't finalized them yet, so I've got a few of them sorted, but I need to think of maybe a couple more. Oh, so Joe has just noticed my heart rate monitor is not coming up. That's interesting. I am wearing it, so it's not working. Not communicating right, which is strange because I'm sure when I connected to Zwift before I started the stream, that it was actually, um, connected so probably a bluetooth issue or something like that it stopped it from working i won't worry about it now fortunately this isn't a race because if you take part in races on swift and don't wear heart rate monitor or cadence sensor it is kind of looked on a little bit badly because it's very easy to to cheat um, I don't see the point of it myself, but yeah, I'll try and sort that out for the next run. Right, we're coming up to the end now, final 200 meters. Oh, he's in zone five, Joe. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I can see the finish line. There we 
go. Right, let's come down to a little bit of a stop. <laughs> Everyone seems to have uh, done the same, just stopped off the finishing line. Thank you, Craig. We'll just hang around here and see if he was behind me, whether he flies past in a minute. Maybe he'll stop right on the line. I, although I'm kind of stopped, I've set my treadmill actually to one kilometer per hour, because if I actually set it to zero, it will time out after a while, it just turns itself off, and then it loses its connection and everything. So you'll just see me move extremely slowly. Thank you, Angela, and to you, and to everyone watching, you know, have a really good, Christmas period, holiday period. Hope you're gonna enjoy some festivities wherever you are. Yeah, we just gotta make the most of it, haven't we? Um, right where I am, tier four, we can't mix with anyone else. So we will just be having a, a quieter than normal Christmas family, immediate family Christmas get together. Thanks, Neil. And uh, yep, yeah, Merry Christmas to you. And thanks, Kim. And I do hope that uh, Santa brings you and your family all the things you were looking for. Of course, if it's for you and you're watching this, probably all related to running. Personally, I just want some socks. That's what I say every year. I just want socks. They never last that long. So there hasn't been any more messages from uh, from Mo up on the screen. So I, I don't know whether he's still running or whether or not he was way ahead of us and probably overtook its right beginning. But if you want to see him, or at least see his name fly, fly past, <laughs> re-watch the stream from the beginning. I, I'm pretty sure he was there on the, uh, the leaderboard at the right hand side but only right at the very beginning <laughs> Neil's saying I should do a, a review of socks <laughs> actually it's not, it's not even running socks I, want, I just want normal socks I do think that was an amazing run to do with just so many people taking part. And it'll be interesting to see when they do the equivalent run this time next year, how much more running on Zwift has grown in that time. I'll wait a little bit longer just to see. I wouldn't like to turn it all off now and then see he, Mo appear from behind. But I, I reckon he's probably finished some time ago and was ahead of us. Thanks, Kim. Glad you found it fun to watch. Yeah, just a bit of a fun run today and, and something unusual that really only does happen once a year. I know they have big cycle events on Swift, um, 
but nothing like the size of this for runners that has happened before. Hi Susie, so Susie did it in 2506, so you must have been ahead of me. You PR'd it, brilliant, well done. Well guys, I think we're gonna end it there. As I say, have a great Christmas wherever you are, whatever you're doing, however you're spending the holiday period. Um, and again, thanks for all your support, whether it be watching these live streams, whether it be watching my other training videos. We haven't any races pretty much the whole of this year. So it's just been good that people still enjoy watching running content on YouTube, even when there aren't big outside events taking place. Um, and it's good to see the channel grow and, and you know, it's good to have your support that's been allowed that to, uh, to happen. So, um, we'll leave it there and uh, wishing everyone a fantastic Christmas. Goodbye.